they poo, they fart, they pee, and I've heard they even eat snot. Today we're gonna explain to you guys why Norway and Norwegians love their royal family. And in the end we will tell you why we hate them too. It's a big paradox that Norway has a royal family. Because in Norway we love democracy. So why the beep are the Norwegian f royal family that appreciated and loved by the Norwegians. Are you ready for a Norwegian royal mess? No. This one is the, our first king because we had been in unions with Denmark and Sweden. Who is this? Kong Håkon. He's called the old king. He was famous for... Uh, well, he was an elected king actually. Elected by the people. And he was actually, during the Second World War, he said no to Hitler and the Germans, and for that we love him. And, and I think this is the most important thing about him, <laughs> according to my granny, and I remember her words oh, no, you're going ear, down the dirt road. his big passion was not women, not sports, but he was deeply into eating snot. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what my granny always said. You must remember, she told me, that the old king, he loved to eat snot and remember... And he also got to the toilet. The yeah, diarrhea. and she also always said to me, remember the royal family, they need to poo, pee, fart and obviously eat snot. You can see his struggles. Oh, he's full of snot. No. No, but we respect him because he said no. But he was, uh, he said no. And he ate snot. Okay, now we're gonna meet his uh, uh, son, Kong, the late Kong King Olaf. Uh, King Olaf, there is his throne or his pedestal and he has climbed down from that and uh, uh, climbed down to us, the people. He because, was like a grandmother. Yeah, a grandfather, yes. But he's famous for uh, actually in the 70s uh, buying his own ticket and uh, taking the tube. During the oil crisis. Yeah, there was an oil was crisis. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oil yeah. You, uh, you're really occupied with facts, aren't you? But he was strict. When his son, our present king, because he is dead too, when his son wanted to marry his love, uh, the old uh, conservative guy Put said. His foot down. Yeah, he said no for, I think, 14 years. So his father said no to the Nazis? And he said no to love. Love, yeah. He didn't want the crown prince to marry his love. Because In it wasn't his... Blood, uh, no, because blood. it wasn't his cousins. I mean, all of these kings had been only... been marrying their family. And uh, his son said, No, I don't want to marry my family. This was an inbreed. <laughs> With his son, our present king, the inbreeding stopped and the vulgarity begun. Walking, <clears throat> walking up to the royal palace. <laughs> For some of you it might look like a high school because it's not a big castle. But you see the red flag and uh, that means that the king is home. Is he? What's, yes. the, what's he doing right now? I'm not sure. Who knows? Arguing with his queen Sonia. Yeah, they argue a lot. Yeah. I heard that. The I rumors. Don't know. Yeah. He calls her a troll. <laughs> <laughs> Is she? I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out. This is a typical Norwegian woman. So I, since she has a backpacker here. I can leave mine here too. Look me, and this is actually our present queen, Queen Sonja. <laughs> and uh, the son of uh, Olaf, you know, he was against, Olaf was against him marrying her. Of course, she was from the people. Yes, she was not royal at all. Uh, she wasn't that poor, but she, her family owned a shop in Oslo. I thought they were selling clothes and something. Yeah. 
but in Sonja Haraldsen. Yes, yeah, Sonja Haraldsen, but when she married in the 50s, late beginning of the 60s, it was a scandal because this was the first time a royal had married a girl of the people. Uh, and her her man, our king, King Harald, no scandal, but he is really, really loved by people because he's very tolerant. Very boring. Uh, no, well, I think he's ha he has humor with her. Then the whole dynamics of our Norwegian royal family changed. The scandal came, but also when he married a, a girl like this, Norway started to love their royal family even more. Because, because of the rugsack? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, she loves to go ut på tur. She go, loves to go hiking and trekking, as you can see. But when you're a queen, you have a stylist. So vulgar. Yes, yeah, you have a stylist. Okay. Because, I mean, uh, it's not ordinary to have that kind of hair when you're out trekking and walking. She doesn't look that sweaty. So here the... the, the, the <laughs> The, Are you sitting on her knees? Yeah, I mean, I can relax with her. Uh, with uh, the entrance of Queen Sonja and our present uh, King Harald, then there's nothing left of that etiquette. With this marriage, they blew it away. But they got married, even yes, if the king said no. Yes, yes, and they became very common. Uh, uh, Dronning Sonja, she have now used uh, 50, 60 years trying to become a queen with the etiquette and all that. But, uh, and she sometimes manages it. But look at this picture over here when she's eating a hot dog. I mean, <laughs> you see that she loves hot dog. She's vulgar. Yeah, well, she is one of the people. And of course, like many other royals, uh, she doesn't only go hiking and trekking, but she also thinks that she is an artist. Oh, everyone thinks. <laughs> yes, everyone. Especially when you're royal, you think that you have a God-given God right to become an artist. So she paints and she has a gallery. Oh, oh. And she's oh, oh. making like uh, uh, cups and... Uh, yeah, uh, whatever. Whatever. But she's a nice queen. I mean, she... she but she can be strict. I guess I she's think, quite strict. I think she's strict, yes. And any scandals? Mm, and I, I heard about that uh, uh, she were cheating on the king. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not... That's uh, forbidden to that's say. That's forbidden to say that she had a lover in France. But, I mean, that's just common gossip, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who doesn't? Who doesn't have a lover or lovers in, in France? I wish, I wish, but I'm not royal. The son of them, the crown prince, that's our Will William for you guys. Uh, he uh, is our age, Mats. I think he's two years younger than me. Our future king, her son, uh, our crown prince. He was just like his father. He said, I'm not going to marry a cousin. I'm going to marry my love. And uh, the love was a single mom. She was a child of an alcoholic that loved to chat to the media. Uh, she was an aggressive party goer. Oh, I and remember. she worked in a shop for clothes. And there were pictures or videos on the internet. No, 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 we're not going there. Oh, no, 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 okay, no. Okay. But she was. <laughs> she, but she had to say, I apologize. Yeah, but she loved the party. And you might think that uh, the crown prince, Håkon, just accidentally came into her shop. You have seen that movie, haven't you? <laughs> it was not like that. Uh, I think they met at a... Rave party! Rave we actually party. seen yeah. them! We have yes. seen them! We have seen them. We have been to the rave parties with uh, the crown prince. And uh, they met at, uh, you know, when you're at a rave, you can't stop because you have been drinking too much Maybe, or... Yeah. yeah, well, you know, Substances. you know what I mean. So you can't stop. And there they met and they became uh, girlfriends and boyfriends. And uh, even <laughs> she was a comment when she heard about 
his girlfriend. I think they were like. Uh, oh my god. Yes, Again. but since she was from the people, of course uh, her son had to marry the people. So he married Mette Marit. And that's why I love the Norwegian uh, royal family because we will soon have a queen that is my age. She went to the same parties as I did this, together with her husband. And Mats, haven't you been on a disco with the yeah, Crown Prince? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I cannot talk about it. Because, no, well, 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 well. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, that she was a single mom. I mean, how cool is that? Because that's really Norwegian. But now we, she's not We she's clean. applaud the single moms. We are the country for single moms. Do, 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 do. And, and Norway was really against this uh, uh, love thing. They were against the, um, her getting married because we was like, but isn't that? too much i mean hello there much. has to be some borders but then she dressed in white both what of the, them what went did the, what did the grandfather think king olaf i i think he was dead here they are the whole gang that's uh, our present king that's uh, the one with the rugsack yeah with the rugsack on hiking and trekking the queen and that's the party the king. girl yes that's the single mom the aggressive party goer and uh, that's uh, your guy who you went to party with and these are the kids and she will be our First she will become a queen, and then sh after that she will become a queen. But one is missing. And she's one is missing here. Yeah, the, the Marta. Yeah, the sister of uh, him. Watch this video; you will know more about that. Very scandalous. But yeah. I will tell you why we hate them, and we do sometimes. And you know when? It when when these two start acting like the British royal family. You know, these two went some years ago on a summer, they went on this really, really expensive cruise. Like, on that yacht. On a yacht. And it wasn't their yacht, it was a rich person yacht. Just like, I mean, you saw Diana and Charles. That would be a really common thing in England. But in Norway, when they do stuff like that, uh, They're part. trying to be up nose here, so part. we won't be we won't be happy no. until they so, work no. at Seven Eleven. And they didn't they didn't reveal who that rich guy who get who paid that yacht trip was, and for that. So if they work on Seven Eleven, we will love them. Uh, yes, and another thing, she I mean she was just like me and you, but then she became a crown prince, crown princess. She went to New York, and was involved with that Epstein met Marit, went there with, with her fancy clothes and thought that she was kind of an ordinary typical royal princess and another thing with met Marit, some years ago she she bought you know Prada clothes she bought the Hermes you know I don't know more Gucci maybe so when when they splash on designer clothes we go <laughs> so when they act like normal royals Norwegian hate them they're they're vulgar peopleish common approach to uh, uh, monarchy uh, I think that's the key to being so popular in Norway because Norwegian are very informal yeah, so this was the story about the royals not eating in Norwegian royal family. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have some juicy news from your dictator, your queen or king, or your president, or whatever you have, let us know. Some diarrhea. Well, we all fart poo and, and all of that. So, okay, Sonia, goodbye. Goodbye, guys. See you.